Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about the schema validation in an Express.js application using the Zod in the Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So it's a very much popular library. So I'm going to use into our Node.js project. So let's install this one. So already I have installed this npm Zod and Express. Okay. So next, moving to create a schema.js file. So here we go with this one. So let me create schema.js file. So here we are going to define the schema like this. Okay, so Zod user schema z.object username should be the string minimum three. Email should be string and email format. Password should be minimum six. Okay. So let's save this. Let's create a server.js file where we are going to use the schema. So here we have the server.js file. So let's create. I will add the uh, zod.js. So here I'm going to add the all of the code. So the simple one that we have using the express then schema. And now we are going to validate the schema with the help of this. So schema dot parts request body, whatever we have. If something goes wrong, it will go the give me the errors. Okay. <coughs> so validate schema will call. Okay, with the user schema. So here we have the register part. So let's go to the postman and check the register. API. Okay, so first it validates. So let me run this project node zo.js. So it's running on 3000. Let's go and just add here. I think I'm a local host. Local host 3000 slash register. Okay, so register over here and body we required the username we required username username i will add the one digit okay so here i'm going to add the one digit right next we required i think email so we required email over here so here we go with email i'm going to have test and the password because everything is wrong for validating i'm just to do the validation part so one, two, three, I'm adding nothing else. So make a request over here. What will happen? Okay. So here we have the errors. String must contain at least three characters. Okay. Next, the validation would be invalid email. Okay. And the last one, that is the password, which is string must contain at least six characters for the password. Okay. So here we have the validation schema that we had. So let's add the three characters. Okay. So let's try to send only two errors will come that is email and the password okay string should be like this next we add the test at the rate gmail.com here you can see now we will send this one only the last one that is password has some issue let's add the password string like this and user register successfully okay so this is how we are we can use the zode into your node.js application you can also use any other typescript library as type like, like angular next okay react you can use that here i will show you how to use that into a react project into the angular project because angular is typescript react we can create the typescript and the next we can create the typescript for that one okay so we will use that part later on okay so hope you understand what exactly it is and you can go more detail with this npm package okay so here we have the full-fledged npm package so whatever you want to use you can use over here right so everything is there right so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day